Well, hi everyone, and thanks so much for joining our webinar today. My name is Joni Ogg, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and home-based TravelAgent.com, I want to welcome all of you and thank you for being with us today. We're very happy to welcome Fathom Travel as our webinar today. We really appreciate the support we get from Fathom and we thank them for that. The topic is Fathom's Social Impact Cruises to the Dominican Republic. And our speaker today is Michelle Sutter, Director of Trade Sales for Fathom. Michelle started her career in the cruise industry as an international ambassador after graduating university with a degree in Spanish and Latin American studies. A 15-year cruise industry veteran, Michelle has worked across brands like Celebrity Cruises, Royal Caribbean, and most recently, Holland America Line and Seaborn. She joined Fathom as a senior sales leader responsible for increasing market share by working with travel professionals and was promoted to director of trade sales shortly after her arrival. In her spare time, Michelle plays on three soccer teams and she works with refugees in her home country of Canada. She's inspired daily by witnessing random acts of kindness. Before we get started, please remember that you're all muted, but we welcome your questions. And you can type in your questions at any time in the question area on the right-hand panel of your screen. At the end of the presentation, we will get to as many questions as we can. We are very excited to be offering an amazing prize today to one of you on the webinar. Michelle will ask a question at the end of the presentation, and the first person to keyboard in the correct answer in the questions panel will win a cruise for two in an ocean view cabin to the Dominican Republic. Details about the prize will be provided to the winner by Fathom by email. And we thank Fathom in advance for this very generous offer. So I'm gonna turn the microphone over to Michelle now so she can get started. Welcome, Michelle. Noun, Fathom is used as a nautical term as it relates to measuring the depth of water. And as a not so nautical term, Fathom is also the average wingspan for an adult worldwide, also six feet. And as a verb, Fathom means to understand a difficult problem or person after much thought. So now that we know the technical definition of the word Fathom, let's see how that resonates with our logo. If you take a moment to look at our logo, you know, what do you think it represents? We've heard from many of our travelers and our travel partners on the interpretation of the logo. Some have said it looks like or reminds them of a manta ray, or some have said an angel, and some said a person smiling. Although there is no wrong answer, at Fathom, we interpret our logo as a person standing with their arms wide open, ready to connect with different cultures and embrace the world's customs. And as we travel deep with Fathom, we remain open to the greatness of our human potential. So before we start to travel deep into the Dominican Republic, it's important to know that Fathom offers two very distinct cruise experiences. We have our social impact cruise to the Dominican Republic and our cultural exchange cruise to Cuba. Our impact cruise to the Dominican Republic combines people's love of travel with their desire to make a difference. And our cultural exchange cruises to Cuba are all about connecting with the people of Cuba. It was our belief that the social impact travel concept would create an entirely new category of cruise that would provide a community of like-minded travelers. And guess what? It really has. Sailing after sailing, we witnessed the beginnings of long-lasting relationships, not only between our travelers and the locals through our impact activities on the ground, but also between our travelers themselves as, as they share their stories amongst each other. So Fathom provides the ability to turn a trip into an opportunity to transform. And it's our vision that will not only transform the lives of the people in the Dominican Republic, that we're, where we will be making an impact, but also of our travelers who will have a transformative travel experience that will take back to their own communities. And it's important to know that at Fathom, we are committed to changing the lives of the families and communities for generations to come and that all of our programs have been designed with the lens of long-term sustainability and working alongside the Dominican people. So one of the most common questions we get is what ship are we using? And the answer to that question is the Adonia. The Adonia was sailing with one of our sister brands, P&O UK, and you would know her when she uh, was originally with Renaissance as the R8. 
She was built in 2001, and you would know some of her sister ships who currently sail with Oceana and Azamara. So she's a jewel box of a ship, just over 30,000 tons, and accommodates 704 guests. She was refurbished in 2011, and we also refurbished her in March of this year when we fathomized her prior to the inaugural sailing to the Dominican Republic on April the 17th. So what do we mean by fathomizing her? Well, we, add, we added slight touches to the already beautiful decor that we believed would help us create a community of like-minded travelers. It's important to also note we do not have a casino on board. We have kept things very simple in relation to our categories of stateroom. What you see is what you get here. It's very simple. There are four categories and no subcategories. So we have our interior, ocean view, balconies, and suites. And here are some important, helpful facts around each of these categories. Um, all, of the ca all of the staterooms have fair trade toiletries, a blow dryer, electric kettle, and tea, instant coffee, one bottle of complimentary water per person, and an in-room safe. Most of our staterooms are, most of our inventory, I should say, are in the balcony category, with over 60% of our allotment. We have eight quad staterooms in the interior category, and we also have 10 suites. We have a number of triple category, uh, a number of triple staterooms, and also connecting cabins as well. Our ocean view and interior staterooms range from 162 to 165 square feet. Our balcony staterooms are 214 square feet, and our suites range from 756 to 929 square feet. So earlier I mentioned that we fathomized Adonia just before we sailed um, in April. And what you see here is the postcard wall, and it's just one of the slight touches we added through the process of fathomizing the Adonia. The postcard wall allows our travelers to write a quick note to their future selves. Our travelers simply fill out one of the cards from the wall um, and then put them into the box, and Fathom will take care of delivering it to their home. I, as an example, my daughter, Ciela, who's nine years old, as I mentioned, wrote a note <laughs> to me uh, saying that she wanted to sail again on the Adonia. So yes, four weeks later, I did receive a postcard from Ciela saying that she wanted to sail again on the Adonia to the Dominican Republic. Another example of how we fathomized the Adonia would be our Mayfair shops. The Mayfair shops provide onboard shopping experience through a selection of brands that we believe make a positive difference in the world. Bahalia, Shinola, and Wewood, and even The Body Shop are just some of the socially responsible brands that, you'll, that will be found within the shop. And here's an example of beautiful handcrafted jewelry made by the women of Bahalia. Bahalia at its core is about alleviating poverty and empowering women through job creation. And ideas such as fashion for a cause, ethical fashion, sustainable development, and transparency are what Bahalia deems as their love language. We consider it a tremendous honor to work alongside these global entrepreneurs in 28 countries. During the fathomizing process, we also added the video confessional, where travelers can uh, take videos and send them to themselves in our photo booth. Uh, we have conversation starters throughout the ship and door cards where travelers can indicate um, some of their um, spirit, they, they can list their spirit animals, some of their lifelong dreams, and ways for other travelers to connect with them as they're walking down the hallways. The Adonia has all of the modern day cruise ship amenities as well, including the amazing pool deck, which you see featured on this slide, uh, two jacuzzi tubs, a bar, a cafe, and plenty of lounge chairs. We also have an adult-only pool on the terrace deck, which is available uh, for an additional charge. And we also have a couple of rattan hanging chairs nestled in the shade, perfect for an afternoon nap. Uh, we also have a gym on board available for our travelers who want to keep up with their exercise routines. And on deck 10, you will find our wine and tapas bar, the Glass House. Uh, this is one of the additions that we made during the Fathomize um, renovation in March of this year. And the glass house creates the perfect surroundings to unwind after a full day of activities. Uh, the glass house offers organic wine and champagne products, and of course, a variety of spirits. And the Adonia also has a specialty restaurant 
which we have named the Ocean Grill. And the Ocean Grill is open for lunch and dinner. Um, reservations are recommended. Um, the charge for lunch is $15 per person, and for dinner it's $25 per person. And this menu selection uh, is a local and Cuban Domin Dominican um, cuisine. And so you'll find that our executive chef, Emil Vega, has created an award-winning menu that provides amazing dishes that, as I said, are inspired um, from Cuba and the Dominican. My personal favorite uh, was the pork belly and the black bean soup. The Adonis dining venue is not limited to the specialty restaurant. We also have additional dining experiences which can be found at the Conservatory, which is our buffet restaurant located on the Lido deck. And the Conservatory provides a great selection of food from all over the world and is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there's also an outdoor dining section, which is the perfect spot for enjoying your morning coffee or perhaps a nightcap. Then we have the Pacific Restaurant. This is our main dining room. And the dining room offers tables ranging for a table for two, to uh, actually we have a few tables that accommodate up to 14. Um, here our travelers can enjoy appetizers, the main course and dessert from an incredible array of international cuisine. Uh, the Pacific Restaurant is also open for breakfast and lunch on sea days and of course dinner. It's important for us at Fathom that our travelers have the flexibility to dine when they like and with whom they like. So we do not have set seating times or assigned sitting. Our dress code is casual, and we do not have formal nights, allowing our travelers to always feel relaxed. Our travelers can also enjoy a full library of books, which was hand-selected by our Fathom staff. The onboard experience will complement everything that our travelers will be experiencing on the ground in the Dominican Republic. Our travelers will have plenty of programming choices to choose from, such as orientation workshops, workshops to deepen their, their understanding, and even personal enrichment workshops. Now, everyone will want to participate in the Fathom launch party. This is a sail away party like no other. And during the Fathom launch party, as we leave Miami, travelers can learn the newest dance craze, the Fathom Shuffle, participate in Message in a Bottle, which provides our travelers with the opportunity to connect with both past or future Fathom travelers. So let's take a look at our programming details in a bit more depth. We'll be offering enrichment classes such as Empowering English Tutoring, which is designed to leave our travelers feeling empowered to take their knowledge of the English language and deliver relevant information to students and adults learning English. We also have the Spanish Phrases, which is designed to provide interactive lessons to our travelers to increase their confidence with communicating in Spanish uh, when they're on the ground in the Dominican Republic. We also have partnered with Stanford University um, Storytelling Lab to create four different programs, including the story of you. Um, and this is a wonderful opportunity, not only to learn about yourself, but to learn about your fellow travelers, um, Impact Story, the Story Circle, and the Fathom Story Fest. We really have worked very hard to create a very robust, um, onboard programming schedule for our travelers so that they can um, use the sea days from Miami down to the Dominican Republic, as I said, to learn not only about themselves, but also about their fellow travelers and about the experiences they will be having in the Dominican Republic. We have health and wellness programming as well, which includes sunrise yoga and evening meditation classes, spa acupuncture, deck boot camp, and a breaking dawn party. And we also highly recommend signing up for our cocktail classes, which are only $15 per person. From the traditional mojito to the original daiquiri, the cocktail extravaganza will not only benefit your recipe book, but more importantly, provide yet another opportunity to build relationships with your fellow Fathom travelers. And uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention our very popular wine and paint night. Do your clients a huge favor and please let them know about this in advance if they're interested in this activity to sign up as soon as they board because it sells out every cruise. Um, these are two events, that, that being the cocktail class and the wine and paint night, that have a capacity of 25 travelers per event. Your, your clients will have the opportunity to paint with 
um, wine, which is a perfect combination. And the charge for this class is $39 per person. So let's get to, you know, the voyage. We will depart Sunday afternoons from Miami, Florida. These are seven-day cruises round-trip Miami, Florida. We will spend Sunday afternoon, all day Monday, and Tuesday morning at sea traveling to Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic. It is during this time that our guests will enjoy our onboard preparation for their social impact project. The ship will arrive in Amber Cove on Tuesday afternoon and stay until Friday afternoon, providing travelers with two full days and two half days in the Dominican Republic before leaving on Friday afternoon back to Miami. Puerto Plata, which is where we arrive, is located on the northern coast of the Dominican Republic. And for those of you who aren't as familiar with Puerto Plata and perhaps are more familiar with the other side of the country, uh, with Punta Cana, Puerto Plata is the real deal. It's beautiful, it's lush, and we are so proud to be able to have the opportunity to take our travelers into this beautiful destination. Amber Cove is Carnival Corporation's newest port facility, which was built for all of the brands under the Carnival Corporation. It opened in October of last year, and as I mentioned, it's located on the northern coast of the province of Puerto Plata and will serve as our home base for the entire time that we are in the Dominican Republic. The resort is beautiful and serves as the perfect location for our travelers to relax after a day of exploring, participating in an impact activity, or perhaps just a change of scenery. The resort is nestled be below a gorgeous mountain range, as you can see here, and edged by a beautiful beach area. And the pool spreads across the entire resort with water loungers and plenty of lounge chairs for everyone. There's also an amazing restaurant located next to the pool, which offers traditional Dominican entrees, music, and dance lessons on Tuesday evenings. And for only $8 to $12 um, per entree, travelers can choose from four traditional dishes while they learn to dance like the Dominicans. There are also water slides for the kids and adults that are still kids at heart. And Amber Cove also offers the opportunity for our travelers to rent a private over-the-water cabana for two or for a larger group event as well. So why the Dominican Republic? This is really such an important question, and it's a question you may have had yourself or you may be receiving from your clients. Although the Dominican Republic is a country of great beauty, it is also a country of great need. And the average household income is less than $6,000 per person. And over 40% of the population is living under the poverty line. So the DR has great infrastructure, which enables us to work alongside partners who have been on the ground for decades. And it is that with that partnership with these local leading organizations in sustainable development, at, in Trena and EDI, that we are able to execute a very successful social impact program and why we chose the Dominican Republic. But before we start to dive into the on-ground programming in the Dominican Republic, it's important to understand the FATHOM program was created by looking through a lens of sustainability with one goal in mind, and that's to make the impact last and to empower the people of the Dominican Republic. FATHOM will provide long-term, sustainable, scalable impact. There are eight social impact activities that the travelers can choose from. And the travelers can elect to participate in three, which are included in the price of their cruise. We have designed the Fathom experience to be flexible for our travelers, and participation is not mandatory. But it's important to note that our ground partners plan for maximum impact, and that requires maximum participation, as the impact happens through the participation of our travelers in the activities so for maximum impact, we need maximum capacity. For each traveler not participating, that may be one or two kids without a tutor or more community members without a teacher, a water filter left undone or less trees planted. So we really hope that our travelers will come with open minds and hearts to fully participate in their impact activities. But we also recognize that it's important to be flexible. So as I mentioned, nothing is mandatory and travelers will have the opportunity to participate in a minimum of three impact activities, um, with, which is included in the price of their cruise. As I mentioned, we have eight impact activities, and our travelers can participate in three of them, 
and this is included in the price of the cruise. The impact activities are centered around supporting the three pillars of economic development, education, and environment. So think of our impact activities like shore excursions with a purpose. So we're going to begin by reviewing the impact activities that support the economic development for two women's cooperatives. We begin by learning about the impact activities um, with El Chocal. El Chocal is a cooperative um, which is created by a group of women that have created a business whereby they grow cacao and hand make artisanal organic chocolate. Travelers Direct impact helps this company grow and thrive as traveler participation increases both sales and production. As Chocal grows, additional critical income opportunities become available in the region and the overall well-being of Chocal's own employees increase. So our travelers will have the opportunity to participate in the complete production cycle from sorting cacao beans to cleaning the chocolate nibs, which you see here in the slide um, featured on this, in this image, and packaging the final product for sale. So they really will have the opportunity to have the full experience of making chocolate, which is, as you can imagine, a lot of chocolate lovers dream. And everyone will also enjoy the opportunity to personally mold the chocolate, as you see featured on this slide. And the overall goal, as I mentioned, is that having this added um, hands on deck with our travelers is that El Chocal's production monthly will increase, um, therefore increasing their revenue production and allowing them and empowering them to hire more local Dominican women. Since we've sailed in April, uh, we've had 11 voyages to the Dominican Republic and our travelers have cleaned over 3,000 pounds of cacao nibs and packaged over 93,000 chocolate bars. So as you can see, this is you know, a substantive uh, impact that are, has been made in just 11 voyages. Another group of enterprising Dominican women have formed an association to create and sell arts and crafts from locally recycled paper. And these are the women of Repapel, a women's cooperative. And their story has been a local inspiration, and they have really touched uh, the hearts of our travelers. All of these women previously worked as housemates, which took them away from their village during the week. And now they're able um, not only to have um, the self-esteem and confidence booster of running their own business, but in their own villages. And they're able to be home every day with their families. They've created this successful business that employs the women and allows them to support their families. And in addition to participating in the entire paper recycling process, the travelers are going to have the opportunity to creating new products for sale. And this support provides these women from Ripapel critical income and will ultimately allow the women to expand their association as their business grows. Similar business model of that of El Chocal, our travelers um, providing that extra labor to create more recycled paper will increase their revenue production and empower them to hire more local women. Here you can see our travelers going through the paper making process, and it's really simple. They literally tear up paper that um, has been taken from, uh, used paper that's been taken from office buildings, um, and they put them through a uh, making, paper making process, which goes through a washing machine, if you can believe it. So the travelers have a positive hands-on impact on both of these programs uh, with women's cooperatives not only by helping the women benefit from steady sources of income, but also contributing to increased English skills that can help them sell their products more effectively. And we're really excited um, that in the 11 journeys that we've had to date, that our travelers have produced over 8,000 sheets of recycled paper for the women of Repapel. Now we'd like to share with you the impact activities that support the pillar of education. On a national level, young Dominicans face almost insurmountable obstacles to academic success. And one of the skills most in demand by local employers is basic English, since the tourism industry is the number one source of employment. However, a shortage of trained English teachers and lack of academic support at home 
make a formalized English learning curriculum difficult to sustain. So why education? And, and that is definitely to provide these students and these adult learners the opportunity to become proficient in conversational English, which will then um, empower them to be able to acquire employment in the tourism industry. During the school year, our Fathom travelers will have the opportunity to work with both teachers and students on activities designed to create interest and excitement in their learning process and an aid in language retention. All the images you're seeing from these um, impact activities are images of our travelers cruise over cruise. So this is exactly how you would be experiencing or your clients would be experiencing the Fathom impact activities. Here you see three of our um, Fathom travelers working with two of our students. And they're engaging in games, simple vocabulary lessons, and small group conversations that provides much needed confidence. And what we've found is that already in the 11 journeys we've had is that our students have gained so much confidence that they're starting to try and teach our travelers Spanish. And so that's really been heartwarming to see uh, the growth and the confidence um, that has been built in just 11 weeks. Travelers will see that this kind of positive impact on the life of a child is definitely one of the most gratifying experiences a traveler can have. And I can speak to that personally, having experienced this social impact activity with my nine-year-old daughter. Um, this was her favorite impact activity, having the ability to not only meet children her own age, but being able to connect with them and to share um, something that what she would take for granted is having, you know, being proficient in English and being able to share that gift um, with these students. And we've estimated that within five years, more than 2,200 of the students whose lives we've touched will um, have achieved proficiency in English and will be prepared for jobs that can raise the income levels for their families. And that's something that really um, brings us much pride at Fathom. Now, the Dominican school year is much like ours. Uh, the year starts in September and finishes in um, mid-May to June. So for our Fathom travelers that are sailing with us over the summer months, uh, they will still have the opportunity to help students succeed academically. Fathom travelers can be part of an innovative summer program, which we call CAMS, which are Creative Arts, Music, and Sports Camps. And these programs have been designed to develop creativity, athletic ability, and life skills in a, in a fun and safe environment for the students. And the well-planned programs include joint dramatic presentations by students and Fathom Travelers, hands-on arts and crafts activities, sports and nutrition. Uh, one of the favorite activities is actually building a soccer ball um, from newspapers and elastic bands, and the students love that, and then they engage in an actual soccer game. And with the increased demand for bilingual speakers in the growing tourism industry in the Dominican Republic, there's also a great need for programs that support adult English learning. So our third social impact activity in the education pillar is community English conversation and learning. Fathom Travelers are going to be able to participate in this activity to help boost um, employment opportunities for lower income adults. And these small group programs take place within community centers and in local homes and include one-on-one -on -one conversation and English instruction. And participating in these community English conversation and learning programs will enable our travelers to experience the powerful and immediate impact of their contributions. We receive a tremendous amount of positive feedback regarding the community English conversation impact activity. Travelers are welcomed into people's homes and really have the opportunity to connect one-on-one -on -one with not only the adults, but the family members as well, and the community members in the local neighborhoods. Our travelers have completed um, a 22 and a half direct hours of na native English interaction with 728 community members. And with a goal of completing 240 hours, which is recommended by international bodies to achieve English proficiency. So this is really important. Um, we're about 10% there. And again, this is after only 11 journeys uh, since we started sailing in April of this year. 
Now we're going to move on to the pillar of environment. And we have uh, three impact activities that support the environment of the Dominican Republic. And the first one is related to the water crisis, which is a reality that plagues not only uh, the Dominican Republic, but the entire world. In the DR alone, more than 2 million people have no access to piped water. And one solution already being implemented is the production and distribution of clay water filters, which means far fewer children and adults will miss school or work due to waterborne illnesses. So our Fathom Travelers will have the opportunity to work alongside the established organization Wine to Water in the entire filter making process. Our travelers will have the opportunity to also deliver a water filter to a needy family. Um, this is a life-changing gift and truly an unforgettable experience. The family you see featured in this slide is actually the first family that Fathom was able to deliver a ceramic water filter to. And as you can see here, this water filter will benefit three generations um, within the one family. And this will allow the family to use the income they may have been using um, to buy bottled water or the time they would be spending walking sometimes upwards of five miles each way to gather well water to now having safe, reliable water source in their homes. This is a family-friendly activity and smaller children will find ways to do their part as well. Again, my daughter, Ciela, really enjoyed this impact activity as well. Um, but ensure you wear clothing you don't mind getting dirty. It's a long day between creating the water filter and delivering the filter to the Dominican uh, family. So Fathom does provide a box lunch as well. And we're really excited to say that we've uh, produced 612 water filters. And this has directly um, impacted 612 households with a total of 3,060 people now in the Dominican Republic who have clean, accessible, potable water. Fathom will also be involved in local reforestation efforts, and these are designed to improve the livelihoods of the Dominican families, restore degraded land, and contribute to forest and wildlife conservation throughout the region. Travelers can participate in activities that range from the simple potting of tree seedlings and transporting plants, to assisting local Dominicans with establishing and managing tree nurseries, to the more strenuous efforts of cultivation and planting. And thanks to the, to the small group nature of these reforestation activities, um, you'll gain firsthand experience in transforming a community by working to protect and extend its natural resources. And we have uh, planted 20,618 seedlings uh, between our nurseries and in the Dominican soil. And so this has been a journey of growth, literally. And then we have our concrete floors impact activity. This is my personal favorite uh, social impact activity. And this is where our travelers will have the opportunity to help improve the lives and the health of the Dominican people from the ground up, literally. In the homes of the poor communities in the Dominican Republic, the common basic dirt floors are a genuine health risk, and they pick up dust during the dry season and retain dampness and puddles in the rainy season. And obviously they're impossible to clean, which means that anything spilled on the floor or tracked into the houses, however unhygienic, tends to stay put. And you know, it, it not only affects them from a health perspective, but it results in property damage, and then we also see effects with um, employment and school attendance. Children go to sleep at night, their homework is you know, at their bed, and wake up after, um, uh, uh, during the rainy season, during, during the, the, the rainfall in the evening, and wake up to find that their homework has been um, damaged or destroyed yet again, and eventually leads to children literally dropping out of school because of this. So it, it has a number of different negative impacts. The image you see here is, is from my personal trip that I took in May. And the, the image on the far left is what the home looked like um, or the floors of the home looked like before we arrived. Um, then you see the middle image is when we were laying uh, the concrete floors. And then the, the one on the far right is when it was being um, pigmented um, and painted to, to red. 
and then you'll see in the following image one of the other homes that was completed. So every month, homes in a different small area of a community will be chosen to be upgraded with new concrete floors. And our travelers are working alongside the homeowners and other members of the surrounding community, including children and teenagers, helping them create surroundings that they'll be proud to maintain and take care of. And this is really a truly connective experience within the community. The neighbors come and join the families um, and participate. The laborers that um, Fathom hires are, are those that um, actually live in the community where we're laying the concrete floors. And they lend their expertise to the Fathom travelers. So we'll be carrying in the bucket of the cement um, and carrying out the empty buckets. Uh, some of our travelers will be mixing the concrete. And there's something for everyone to do. As I mentioned, from shoveling cement to carrying empty buckets, this activity is not just for the strong and the young uh, Fathom travelers. Everyone can participate in this. And it's really a wonderful opportunity to connect and really travel deep into the Dominican Republic. After 11 journeys, um, we're really excited that we've had the opportunity to lay concrete floors in 33 homes. And on our last cruise to the Dominican Republic, we also were able to um, create a multi-use outside court uh, for a school. So now there will be a school that has access to an to a outside court after just 11 sailings that's 33 homes um, that directly impacts 138 people now. So, you know, we would be remiss if we didn't talk about the intangible impact we're having on the people. I've shared to you, with you the cumulative impact figures of, of each of our eight impact activities. Um, but what the impact we're having on the people and how this can be a transformative travel experience is intangible. Everyone wants to be part of something bigger than themselves, and people are looking for real connections with people. And what we believe Fathom provides is a program that builds communities. It fosters connections across borders and cultures, and, and truly, truly touches people's hearts in ways they never thought possible when traveling. It's the unexpected experiences that are unforgettable, and not the meals you had or the beaches you laid on or the cocktails you drank. Um, it's, it's the way you connected. You know, I, this is an image of my daughter, Ciela, who you see on the right-hand side, with a little girl from the community um, that we were in when we were laying the concrete floors. And this little girl approached um, the house where we were working in and asked uh, one of the translators if she could invite Ciela to come and play with her in, in her house. And she lived three doors down. And she brought two dolls with her, one for Ciela and, and one for herself. Um, and I get teary-eyed telling the story time after time again because it takes me right back into that moment of watching them walk away. And you can see the little girl's mom in the, in the background waiting for them. And the two of them, you know, spent the afternoon playing um, in between Ciela taking breaks uh, from laying the concrete floors. She was quick to remind the little girl many times that she, she really wanted to play, but she also had to, to participate in in laying the concrete floors. And I have other images of them um, also uh, participating in the impact activity. But this is really, and you know, this is my personal uh, moment or one of my personal moments, but everyone has um, moments like this. I spoke to a travel partner who sailed with us as well and was taking a taxi into town um, to have a meal in Puerto Plata. And when she went to pay the taxi driver, he wouldn't allow her to pay saying that she was sailing with Fathom and she had, she had dedicated a week of her vacation time to come and help the people of his country and that he couldn't charge her money for that, for that ride because of that. And so what's really important to tell here is that our travelers are, are really having connective, transformative, impactful experiences that are unique to them, and, and that's, what, that's what lives on in our travelers, are those experiences and those connections. And while we are committed to impact, and that's absolutely the mission of Fathom and, and why we are in the Dominican Republic, we are also there to have um, relaxation time and have your traditional um, options for vacation time. So whether that's laying by the beach or going snorkeling or um, lounging at the pool, there's, there's going to be time to do all of those things. 
we, we purposely designed the cruise to allow our travelers the opportunity to have an impact in the morning and then spend the afternoon at the beach. Our impact activities range between four to six hours and traditionally most of them are in the morning, some are in the afternoon. So you can go and teach English in the morning and come back and lay at the pool in Amber Cove. Or you, you can spend the afternoon in a community English learning program and then spend the morning um, snorkeling or hiking the 27 waterfalls. There is enough time to participate in impact activities and also sightsee and relax and explore the city and nightlife. As well as our, as well as our social impact, impact activities, Fathom is also offering more traditional cruise shore excursions. We have countryside zipline adventures, uh, reef snorkel by catamaran, and um, a number of other options as well. So I'm going to move into the you know, frequently asked section of our webinar. You know, group pricing, we do offer that and we also have uh, groups available. The, the group discount is $100 off per person and our tour conductors for the Dominican Republic are one for nine, so the tenth um, is free. You sell nine single or double occupancy guests and you'll receive one tour conductor. The minimum size group is five cabins. And we also highly welcome and encourage student groups. Uh, the minimum age for a student group is 12 years of age, and we require one adult chaperone for every five students. We also offer meeting space on board, and this is really a wonderful opportunity for groups, whether those are student groups, uh, faith-based groups, corporate groups, family reunion groups. I can't emphasize this enough, but this is really a wonderful opportunity for people to connect with one another in a way they, um, they cannot in any other um, cruise um, opportunity. This is a snapshot of our journey planner. The journey planner is accessible online once your, your clients and our travelers have paid their final payment. And this is how our travelers pre-register for their cruise. Along with entering in their personal traveler information and their emergency contact details, the journey planner is also where the traveler will select their impact activities. Again, they will have the option of selecting three of the eight impact activities that are available. And the journey planner can be accessed from our website at fathom.org under the About tab and by selecting the journey planner login option. At first login, our guests will need to click on don't have an account, and from there, they will be required to create a password. It's important to note that within five days of sailing, it will not be possible to select impact activities or shore excursions through the journey planner. They will then have to come on board um, to select those. So the deposit to book a Dominican cruise is $300 per person. But we currently have a promotion for our 2017 sailing, which is called Possibilities, and that includes a 50% reduced deposit. So that will require a $150 deposit instead of the traditional $300 deposit. Final payment is due 90 days prior to sailing, and the deposit is fully refundable, fully refundable prior to final payment being due. The minimum age to sail on Fathom is eight years of age. And as I mentioned earlier, the minimum age for a student group is 12 years of age. Our pricing for triples and quads is 50% of the first and second person rate. And our single supplement policy is 150% and 200% for suites. We also have a guaranteed single traveler share program, which allows our travelers to share with other travelers at the 100% rate if we are unable to find a suitable roommate um, of the same gender and age range as the single traveler, the single traveler can occupy the cabin as a single and pay the 100% supplement. We also allow international resident bookings and we will pay you commission on those. So some of our sister brands um, I know have a different policy regarding this you on any bookings you make for any of your travelers and clients who reside outside of North America. So this is one of the top questions received and that's regarding donations. 
Travelers frequently ask if they can bring donations for the local Dominicans. And while we know our travelers' hearts are in the right place, um, we must ask for your support in communicating to the clients that we really discourage donations. The Fathom Impact model was designed to empower the people with long-term sustainable programs. And as you know, donations create an unsustainable de dependency. So we tell our travelers that really the best gift that they can bring is their love and willingness to participate in the impact activity. Our dress code, as I mentioned, is casual. There are no formal nights. We do not have beverage packages on board. Pass, you, if you are an American citizen, passports are not required. Uh, although they are recommended, they are not required. There is access to Wi-Fi on the ship. We have daily and weekly packages that range from 11.75 per day to 37.50 per day, depending on the package uh, required. So. On to our 2016 inaugural season promotional pricing. This is our inaugural season and we really want to welcome as many travelers and travel professionals as we can on board to join us so that you can share the Fathom message with all of your family and friends. So we have um, inaugural season pricing, promotional pricing that um, you will not see in 2017. For September 11th and 25th, we have an unbelievable rate of $249 per person, plus taxes, which is $208 for balcony cabins. And we will pay you, as a travel professional, $100 bonus commission per person on these rates, and $50 per person on the third and fourth rates. So that's really important to note. For those of you on the East Coast or in Florida, we would love your support in bringing travelers on board for us on September 11th and 25th. That's $249 per person for a balcony. The taxes are $208, and you will be paid $100 bonus commission per person on these rates. October 9th and 23rd, November 9th and 20th, and pardon me, that's a typo. That should be November 6th and 20th. The inside rate is 249 the outside rate is 349 and the balcony rate is 449 per person plus taxes. And there is a bonus commission of $50 per person on these as well. As I mentioned, this includes three impact activities. And we also have a five for one balcony promo for DR groups for the remainder of this year. So through the end of November, any groups sailing to the DR, you will receive one free balcony for every five you book. Great opportunity for groups, um, for your escort, or for yourself to take a group as well. Now, we'd love to have you on board. We really, really rely on our travel professionals' support um, to make Fathom a success. Fathom and social impact cruising is a new category of travel and a new cruise line. And therefore, you know, we don't have the brand awareness of some of our sister brands like Princess or Holland America Line. And so we really rely and, um, on your support, our travel professionals. And we have found that the travel professionals who have sailed with us really have come off not only loving the cruise, but have said it's the best cruise they've ever sailed on. I have more than a handful of travel agents that have already sailed with us three times since we started sailing in April. We have a set of women from Florida travel partners that have actually rebranded their entire business model to now only sell intentional travel. And they are sailing in November on their fifth Fathom cruise. So I, I share this with you because I, I really want you to experience this. Not only because I, I'd love for you to experience it to help sell it and to help increase the brand awareness, but just so that you can have that transformative travel experience that I know you will have. So we have travel professional rates, not only for September 11th and 25th, but through the end of November. So if you can sail with us on September 11th, September 25th, October 9th, October 23rd, November 6th, or November 20th, you can bring a guest with you and they will pay the same rate as you which is $199 per person for interior staterooms, $249 per person for ocean view, 
and $2.99 per person for balconies, plus your taxes, which are $2.08 per person. Gratuities are not included. They are $11.50 per person per day. And again, these, these prices are available to you for any of our sailings to the Dominican Republic between September and the end of November. And you can get more information on this um, through our call center. It's one eight five five nine fathom uh, You can also book with Polar Online for your retail clients, or you can email us at salesupport at fathom.org. If you haven't already done so, I highly recommend you register on our travel professional portal. This is where you can access the travel appreciation fairs, also our images, um, our image library, our brochures, our collateral, customizable flyers, videos. Um, there's direct links to Polar Online. And if you simply visit fathom.org forward slash travel professional portal, you can access all these sales uh, resources and assets. And I highly recommend you do this as this is you know, a, a, a wide variety of, of assets that will support your Fathom um, sales efforts. So I believe I've concluded with about seven minutes of time um, for questions and answers, and of course to um, give out our free cruise. Uh, Joni, if you'd like me to uh, pose the question now, I can do so, unless we have um, other items we want to review. Oh, Michelle, um, we have got questions. <laughs> okay. That is absolutely amazing. I'm just in awe. What a, a great presentation. I can't begin to thank you enough for this. Um, first of all, I've got so many of them, there's no chance we're going to be able to do this before the hour is over with. So I just want to let everyone on the webinar know that if you did post questions and we don't get to your question, don't worry because Michelle is going to get a report after the webinar of all the questions and she can address those and have her staff assist her with that. So just don't worry if you don't hear the answer. I'm going to try to pick out some of the ones um, that were the best or they're all great, but some of the ones that maybe will pertain to more people. I do have to tell you, Michelle, the comments have been so amazingly positive. Um, people all just love this and just can't wait to be a part of what you're doing. So congratulations to all of you for, for what you, you're doing here. Um, one you. of the questions I thought was a, a, a good one for everyone was what options might there be for disabled cruisers that might want to make a difference? Um, that's a great question. Um, we do have, um, of course, the ship is accessible. Um, for our travelers, you know, on the ground in the Dominican Republic, um, we we don't have as much accessibility. But and I sh I, I should have the image here. We with within certain impact activities we do, for example, with the schools um, and with our buses, we have had travelers who are wheelchair bound participate in our impact activities. So um, I will have to get a full report from my on-ground team in the Dominican Republic to provide you with the specific impact activities they can participate in to ensure that I'm providing you with that accurate information. But we, do, we have had, as I say, wheelchair-bound um, travelers who have participated with us. I, I know at least in the English uh, student learning program. Great, thank you. Um, one question has been asked a number of times, and it's been asked in different ways, but they're asking if there's any kind of a PowerPoint presentation, similar, obviously, to what you have here, obviously not with the travel agent information, that they can either make available to clients for presentations, or is there anything they can put on their websites? Great question. And, you know, in the travel professional portal that I reviewed at the conclusion of the webinar, um, we do have a link there that gives you access to presentations. Now, I have heard that some of them, some travel partners have difficulties downloading those. So um, what I can do is I can, I can customize the presentation you've seen today to be um, consumer friendly. And I can send that to Joni and she can share that with the team. My only hesitation is, or what, what I should preface that by saying is that I will have to convert it to a PDF because it contains fonts that the, most computers do not have. And if I send it to you in PowerPoint, it will not um, permit you, um, or the the template will and the formatting will will be skewed, and it won't look the way you see it um, today. Okay. You know, we might you and I can discuss that afterwards and see what we can try to figure to work out because it's a great question. People are asking about any other digital support for social media promotions and things like that. So there's some 
fantastic questions. And of course, you will get all of these. Um, but really, I, I, there's so many, I can't even believe it. This is so great. I love it. Uh, let me see. Um, one other question that I thought was really good. Um, do you have, it goes along with that, but are there, are there any recorded webinars that you do have for clients themselves yet? Great question. Um, I believe the consumer webinar that we hosted last week on August the 30th was recorded, but I will have to check with the team members to ensure that it was. If so, I can forward that. Um, if not, we plan to um, host one monthly. And if you, um, if you contact me, I can add you to our email distribution list if you're not already on it, and we can um, ensure that you will receive notification of that. You can also find me on Facebook, and I have a private travel agent group within my Facebook account whereby I will make any uh, relevant announcements to uh, consumer webinars on there as well. Oh, that's great. I, I do uh, encourage all of you to get on that Facebook page. I did go there as well, and there's some great information on there. Uh, let me see. A couple questions asking about third and fourth person rates. I'm not sure if you addressed that or not. Yes. Third and fourth person rates are 50% of the first and second person. Okay. And do you have interior cabins that can fit three? Yes. Another question about cabins. Um, notice you have several balcony cabins. Do any of those um, have adjoining possibilities? Yes. Okay. We have, uh, yes. we have connecting balcony cabins and, um, and triples as well in the balcony category. Okay. Someone has a question that I actually wanted to ask myself, so I'm going to ask this one. Um, do you see in the future any age limit changing uh, any time because it's it's such a you know great cruise and such a good thing to bring families, obviously, personally bring your families on? You know, it's, it's a great question. I have a very upset six-year-old <laughs> who who did not join us. Um, and, and having done the cruise, I have to say to you now, and, and I was one of the the major, um, I, I was not in favor of the age limit because of my personal reasons, but having experienced it, I have to say to you, I don't, A, to answer your question, A, I don't see that changing, and B, um, I think we're, we're on the right track with that. Um, it, it's the perfect opportunity for children, but if you get too young, it, it, it might be too much. And then our, our concern with that is that then it would take away the parents from the actual impact and, and the um, programming, having to deal with the younger children that may not be able to keep up. Yeah, I, I hear you. Okay. Um, I, so I'm, I'm thinking my two-year-old granddaughter is probably a bit young for this at this point, huh? <laughs> just personally <laughs> speaking. So I think we probably, we're never going to be able to answer all these questions in, in one minute. So what I'm going to suggest is, can you go ahead and, and ask your question um, about the cruise and give whatever information you'd like to? And then we will go ahead and announce that winner. Um, I'll be providing this information to Michelle. And uh, then once we've completed, um, we'll thank everybody. And, and this recorded, this is being recorded, everyone. So not to worry, we will have this up on our websites within 24 hours. Thank you so much, Joni. And, and before I, I pose that question, I just want to, again, reiterate, um, you can contact me through Facebook to join the group. Uh, my last name is Sutter, S is in Sam, U. Double T E R, so that's Michelle Sutter. You can find me there. Um, if you have any questions that haven't been answered and perhaps you didn't actually pose them, um, the the contact details you see on the screen right now, which I'll I'll put here, sales support at fathom.org. That um, that is the best way to get connect with the sales team um, in Seattle to answer your questions. And of course, uh, our reservations team at one eight five five nine fathom. So we are offering a cruise for two today uh, to the Dominican Republic on our November 20th sailing. This is a popular sailing because it's over Thanksgiving and what better way to spend a week of thanks but, and gratitude but being in the Dominican Republic on a social impact cruise. So this is an ocean view cabin for two um, for November 20th for yourself and the guests. Um, you will be responsible for paying the taxes which are $208. So, drum roll is, the question is, can you please list three of the eight impact activities offered uh, by Fathom in the Dominican Republic? Again, please list three of the eight social impact activities offered 
I fathom in the Dominican Republic. Uh, for your chance to win a cruise for two to the Dominican Republic on November 20th of this year. All right. Well, I've got uh, Andy Ogg assisting me with this, and he's going to be pulling the, the winner of those questions. We answered the three of those eight things correctly, so I'm waiting for the other side of the drum roll. This was just so amazing. I can't even tell you. It was awesome. Thank you so much, and I'm, I'm, I am and we are at Fathom truly grateful to, to, to yourself, Joni, and your team, and, and to all of you who have taken the time to learn more about Fathom today. We can't be successful without all of your support, so thank you so very much. Oh, it's, it's really been an honor to have you here today. And I can tell you, we've got some people that were really listening to you because we've got a lot of answers. Andy, are you on the line, or can you text me? Yes, I'm here, and it looks like the first person to answer the question correctly was Kim Barber. Congratulations, Kim. Congratulations. That's amazing. So I will get Kim's contact details from your team and uh, we will send you all the details and we'll look forward to having you join, you join us on board on November the 20th. Thank you so much. Everyone, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here today. Um, I know you've gotten as much from this as we have. Just an amazing presentation, Michelle, one of the best webinars that we have ever hosted, I believe. So thank you so much for making us look good today. We really, really appreciate uh, your being a part and working with Fathom. Have a great day, everybody, and uh, we will see you next time around. Thank you so much.